Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, coming at you with my review for Dragon Ball Super Episode A1 with, with his Goku and, and Bergamore going at it. Now, uh, now before I begin this review, I want to talk. I want to. I want to talk briefly about something, which is which is the way Goku's been portrayed lately in Dragon Ball Super. Everyone seems to hate it, and even though I part of me still does too. I recently came across an interview, an old interview with, with Akira Toriyama that makes me put a little bit more of a new, a new light on the subject of how Goku's being portrayed. And uh, I'll, I'll just read it quickly to you guys here, so yeah. Th there's, there's how. Basically, Son Goku from Dragon Ball doesn't fight for the sake of others, but because he wants to fight against strong guys. So once Dragon Ball got animated, I've always been dissatisfied with the righteous hero type portrayal they gave him. I guess I couldn't quite get them to grasp the elements of poison that slip in and out of sight among the shadows. I wanted him to have the sense of being that rare guy who seeks only to become stronger than before, so much so that it feels like there's no one as pure as this person, and while he does end up saving everyone as a result of that, he himself at least has a very pure sincerity about wanting to become stronger. What I want to pick took the most was the sense that he might not be a good guy at all, although he does do good things as a result. Now, one thing I can take away from, from this whole interview is that as of right now, the, the 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 last bit he talked, the last bit Doriana talked about with do, doing doing good things on accident, basically, we're we're not we're not all we're seeing right now is Goku's is Goku's desire to become stronger. We're not really seeing his his other side of doing things on accident, doing good things on accident right now. He's he's basically as as Bergamore put it in the beginning of this episode. He's he's basically be, being. He's basically considered a villain, but by all all the universes at this point, for even for even getting for even getting the God of All or or, or, or Zen 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 to even arrange this thing. So I imagine it'll probably only come into play at the end of this whole tournament or whatever when when Goku wins and he and he and he gets the Dragon Balls uh, get, and he wishes on the Dragon Balls or something like that. Wishes on the Dragon Balls to restore all all the universes that that were destroyed, I suppose. But uh, yeah, even but but uh, but of course that that still doesn't. But of course it's interesting though because in the big but it it is interesting to to see the perspective of all the universes in this episode because it seems that that of course b b when when Bergamore was speaking out though about how he Goku's basically the villain all this all it definitely created a lot a lot of dissent and discord among the twelve universes like all the at this point like I I think it was always there. From the very moment that they learned Goku is the one who organized this one, this tournament, but uh, all the universes they basically want, want they want they want Goku on the chopping block. They, they want Goku dead now, so it's it was interesting to get the to get the perspective of all the universes and, and what they were thinking about about Go of what they think of Goku at this point. The, they also uh, one of the universes I one of the gods I forget who who was again the, the one the one that looks like the, the one that looks like the, the Egyptian. The Egyptian, uh, the Egyptian, the Egyptian priestess, or something like that. <clears throat> I think it was her. She she brought up an interesting point that um, they they brought up the point like, what is it about go this Goku person that that, that Zeno that Zeno speaks so highly? Well, <clears throat> if I had to guess, I'd say it's that well, as much as like like I said many times, like it's been said many times, Zeno has the mentality of a child, and he sees. He sees G G Goku as as a friend, I guess, or or, or an older friend or something. And it's like a it's like a child who wants to play with with his father or, or an uncle or something like that. I that's kind of the I think the relationship I can see Zeno and Goku having. It's it's kind of like a, a very playful relationship in in Zeno's eyes. He just seems very. He's always he's always intrigued by 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 by, by, by Goku for some. For some particular reason, so it's I guess it's kind of like a, a playful and intriguing relationship that that Goku and Zeno have at this point. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, now, as for the fight itself, um, we we learn pretty much we, uh, as the fight gets going, we 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 learn uh, 
it was pretty pretty easy going fight. It's just Goku and Ber Bergamore trading fists until so Bergamore does something strange that the the question that has Goku questioning what, which is that he basically holds up his hands and tells Goku to, to basically hit him, and of course Goku being <coughs> do, doing things first and asking questions later, he basically d hits him s several times, which of course causes Bergamore to, to 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 I guess to guess have like a a height. His height to, to increase. Now, it's, it's this is actually an intriguing power for me because it reminds. Uh, it isn't exactly the same, but it does it does remind you of, of the original Dragon Ball when when we saw we saw Piccolo in in the in in the uh, in the in the fi in the final arc of Dra the OG Dragon Ball where we saw P P Piccolo Junior or Piccolo the Piccolo we know today actually in increases height. Now, of course, the si situation by which it happens is completely different, but uh, it, is, it is an interesting power be because it, it, it re does remind me of, of OG Dragon Ball in a way of, of, what, of what Piccolo did with, with his height. Of course, like I said, the difference being that Ber Bergamore needs to get hit in order to, <coughs> in order to increase his size. And uh, <coughs> even, even though Go... And it is a... Uh, and of course, as it was proven pretty much pretty much in the beginning of the fight it was the the one major flaw of that of that power is that is that the bigger the bigger that the bigger the bigger that berg 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 more gets uh the the bigger the blind spots are are created for him to attack his opponent which of course i guess i guess goku picked up on quite 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 early on in the fight which uh of course led to led to his uh led to him winning the fight and but um which of course led to him basically not, at that point not, not knocking Bergamore knocking knocking Bergamore with, with with his with a blast although it was it was interesting to note that at the but that Bergamore was was giving Goku a run for his money money in in that form because he had to go fucking Super Saiyan Blue and Kyle Ken in order to just in order to take in order to take take him out, so that did show you that even though it was that it did have its glaring weaknesses, that that it did show that Bergamore was 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 still enough of a enough of a threat for for for, for, for I guess Goku to go at that height, and of course just just at the sight of Goku going Super Saiyan Blue, it did it did shock all the all all the universes that that Goku did, does wield the power of the gods. I assume, and I'm assuming that Goku. They, now that they know that Goku does wield that power, it's going to create even more dis dissent and and hatred, hatred and hatred for hatred against Universe Seven. So, yeah, it's it's going to, yeah, this is at the core of what I'm saying. I guess Goku is just creating is creating more 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 problems for 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 all, for, 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 for 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 everyone in, in Universe Seven. I'm I'm actually. One thing that I'm curious about at this point is how is how all the others is is how all the others at this point even more so how all the others are going to react to are going to react to 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 I guess to 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 to, to what happened here and, and Goku's actions like I I assume they're just going to go, go along with it but I I I imagine that they they're going to they're saying Goku you you freaking doomed us all you dumb you dumbass or something like that. I, I assume that that's how it's gonna work when when they when they all gather together for when they're well the team universe seventeen gathers together for the tournament. Um, but yeah. Af anyway, after the fight with Bergamore is done, we we actually we actually get a little bit of a we we get a we, uh the grand priest uh the grand priest kind the grand priest gives gives us a bit of a uh gives us a bit of a layout of how the un tournament of power is going to work and. The first thing I, I noted about about the way he explained it is that it, it's basically it basically sounds like what if if anyone knows knows wrestling out there it sounds like a, a giant a royal 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 a, a, a complete a, a royal rumble t t type type scenario like everyone everyone goes in and the last man standing is the winner pretty much so it's it sounds like a, a royal rumble like wrestling wrestling match almost except instead of wrestling it's martial arts. Big difference, but uh, yeah. So it, it almost seems like an like an anything goes kind of scenario in a way. And and the last, and the last universe universe standing is is the winner pretty much. So yeah, but uh, but yeah. Also, and um, 
and uh, and yeah, <sighs> fuck. And of course, uh, but yeah, and uh, and then of course at the end we we, we see top 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 top. And of course, after the rules are explained, then then we see Top 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 Topo, who's ready to go in and face Goku. So it seems like he's, it seems like that Topo right now is going in in order to kind of, in order to kind of, I guess we could say he's, he wants to test Goku to in order to in order to test his re resolve or something, or or to test his, or to or just to see how 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 far he's willing to go in order to in order in order to face. Or in order to just you know how long he's willing to take take this take this longer like t right now right now Topo he seems like he's he's really I think right now in the eyes of all the universes t t t I, th I think Topo is basically basically the hero to everyone and anyone who faces Goku now in the eyes of the universes is basically Topo or basically anyone who faces Universe Seven or Goku specifically at this point is basically going to be considered the the, he, the hero in the eyes of all the universes. So it's an interesting dichotomy how how we're suddenly getting how we're suddenly getting Goku in in this sort of villainous role we see, and then and then everyone else who faces him down is considered the hero by all the others. But uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah, yeah, that's my review, guys. It was it was an interesting chapter because. Of, it was just showcasing how much how much deep shit Goku has gotten Universe Seven in, and how much, how 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 harshly they actually do 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 in fact you 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 they do in fact view you you everything that Goku has done that's led up to this tournament. So, yeah, I, I imagine that's going to of course play a big factor in this this in, in that's going to be a big factor at this point in this whole tournament to come. But uh, yeah, guys, that, that's my review of um, of Dragon Ball Super episode eighty one. It's it was a good chap. It was a, it was a pretty good episode, honestly. And I, Dragon Ball Super episode eighty one, a pretty good episode. And I guess from here, it's 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 going to be all about the. I guess the next episode is going to be get, get, getting getting the team together and 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 then working on getting the. Is going to be get, getting the team together. I, I imagine they're actually, the whole team's going to be get gathered together, but, but at least in the like beginning or the or by the end of the next episode, and then from there it's going to be just all about the tournament, which is, sounds like just one big royal. Like I said, one big ro ro royal, ro one big one big rumble or something of, of all the universes going at it. But uh, yeah, guys, that's that's my review. Thanks for watching Death Knight of Anime. Signing off. See you guys.